Yo, 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 Topeka High, what's up? It's D-Wizzle and the Hizzle, and I'm here with Gip 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 in the house. And this is your THS m -m -m Morning Report. Ow. Every little thing you do makes me feel good. And I can feel Prince Bay. Thursday, April 11th is National Pet Day. If you have a picture of your pet that you would like to share with Miss Foster, she can make your pet into a Pixar tune. For example, this. Send your pictures of your pets to tfoster at tps501.org and then be on the lookout for a return email with your picture. Be sure your picture is clear and has lots of light. Dark pictures and pictures with lots of distractions don't convert well. The library flash event for April has started. We are celebrating spring and Earth Day by making lanterns out of plastic bottles. Three classes may sign up each day is offered. Wednesday, April 10th, today, the 17th and 24th and Thursdays, April 11th and 25th. Teachers, use the link in this for morning report's description to sign up. Hack My School is a pitch contest and you're invited to compete. Do you have an idea on how to make your school a better place? Do you want to put your stamp on Topeka High? Mr. Moore has an entrepreneurial initiative and is accepting proposals for positive change. This is how coffee shops get started and great things happen. Let's face it, good ideas find money. Great ideas come from students. Startup money is available. See Mr. Moore for pitch competition guidelines. Oh, and don't forget about the NEHS book drive. Look for bins at the welcome desk by Western Entrance or by the library. Books for all reading levels are welcome, so get rid of your old books and help the community at the same time. Everyone knows Thursdays are the slowest days of the week. If you're like us, you struggle to find suitable activities to fill those evenings. Well, mark your calendar. On Thursday, May 9th, you can see some amazing improvisational skills on display from fellow Trojans. The student improvaganza will happen at 7 p.m. with free admissions, but donations are always welcome. Come see how quick-witted your classmates are. It should be funny, creative, probably a little cringeworthy for some. From now until the day of the prom, the THS prom closet will be available for students before and after school by appointment. During the school day, students can stop by with a staff member during Trojan time or lunch time to check out the available items. The prom closet for ladies' dresses is located in the women's locker room, and you can find men's attire in the clothing closet. There's a lot of cho to choose from. Use this QR code to make your appointment. Today, make it today, make it today. There's also a link in this for morning reports description. The DMV will be at Topeka High April 22nd and 23rd. Students can sign up for an appointment to get their learner's permit, license, or state ID. Paper tests will be offered for those who need them. Sign up through this QR code or visit room 204 for more information. Not for lunch. Today you'll be having Bosco chicken dippers with sauce. Sauce. Saucy burrito. Burrito. Veggie chipotle ball. Bow. Cheese burger. Burger. Blue raspberry lemon soy kit. And all your other daily options. Now for upcoming events. Women Swim and Dive at the Natatorium. JV Track and Field at Seaman. JV Boys Tennis at Crossover versus HP. And Softball Tonight at Hummer. Shout out to ROTC. Last Saturday, the Topeka High Marine Corps JROTC Marksmanship Team competed at Topeka West in their shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder air rifle competition. The Trojan shooters were Mark Chacon, Jackson Wood, Gabriel Alvarez, Abigail Corbertson, and Marco Ortega. Overall, the team placed fourth of several schools in attendance, and individual Marco Ortega had the third highest score of all shooters in attendance. Great job, cadets. Shout out to our Trojan Athletes of the Week, Rayleigh Shipley and Nate Plankington. Coach Tiffany said, Rayleigh has had an excellent start to the season and has worked, in, worked extremely hard day in and day out. And Coach Miller said, Nate has done an outstanding job leading this team so far this season. He has also given up no runs in 11 innings this season. As we mentioned last week, Wild Mike's Pizza will be coming to THS next year. Some of you got to try out their goods on Friday, and our second hour got an exclusive taste test as well. Here's some footage of that. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the samples uh, on Friday. Um, the rep was here and, and you guys um, uh, should have sampled all three different types of their new pizza, which we will be getting next school year. 